doing i hope you're doing good because it's good to feel good yes it is and i wasn't really gonna make a video today but i need to and it's about something big that's happened and bloody hell it needs to be talked about i can't not do a video about it so here we are and the big news that has you know rocked the gaming world is the fact that a spyro the dragon remaster trilogy has officially been confirmed and yeah it's happening <laughs> yes I actually cannot wait for this, like, I will talk about it in a second, but Spyro was one of the big things that was around when I was younger, but yeah, now let, let's just, like, have a little background check before we go into this, so, it's really been, there's been a lot, there has been lots of speculation in the last few weeks that, you know, a Spyro the Dragon remaster for current gen consoles was gonna happen, and so, I think it was Target who accidentally confirmed that they were soon going to be taking pre-orders or something like that and then they were just trolling like people along and then Activision obviously didn't confirm it but they did a live stream where everyone was watching and like everyone thought oh yeah this is going to be where they're going to announce it but uh, yeah it, that didn't happen I don't remember what was announced and then like I think probably one of the biggest hints that came out in the past couple of days was that the person who had the Twitter handle at Spyro the Dragon on Twitter, um, his name was Falcon McBob, and he sent a purple dragon egg to IGN, and then Activision got involved and were like, something's gonna happen, and sure enough, today the trailer has launched, it's been announced, it's happening, it's gonna be called the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, which is very fitting because, yeah, it's been reignited, and oh, I'm so... I'm actually really happy that this is a thing and I think a lot of people who grew up in the PS1 era of video games will be very happy as well. So yeah, let's let's go in. So I think really just speaking, I think from playing the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which was done also by Activision, was like, it was just so good to, you know, relive that, that series because like Spyro, Crash Bandicoot was also a video game series that I loved playing when I was younger. You know, each game was just amazing for its time but yeah just playing it with like completely remastered was just such a joy and like i'm so happy that they're doing it again for spyro so yeah i'm actually just buzzing for this like oh uh, then again i think we all are buzzing so i mentioned before that spyro the dragon growing up was one of my favorite video game like series and he's one of my favorite video game characters and i also mentioned in my dragon tattoo video that you know uh, obviously one of the inspirations behind that was my love of dragons and spyro so yeah that all went into that uh, there's just so many hints to it so Mm, I just want to play it. So I should also mention that the remaster includes the trilogy of games that originally came out on the PS1. So they are Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, or Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer if you live in Europe or Australia, and Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon, and yes, it's going to be amazing. So I was looking at some of the details to the game, so obviously it's going to be updated with HD graphics, um, like everything, obviously it's taken, in, well I say inspiration, but uh, it's taken, you know, everything that was so cool about the original games and like it's going to look amazing and stunning in HD and like, ah, oh, I actually can't wait to just go back to it, you know, flaming sheep, um, bashing enemies, flying, gliding, it's just, it's gonna be awesome. One thing I also noticed was that not only have they announced that there is gonna be like a reimagining of the score that was done by Stuart Copeland of the police, but also Tom Kenny is returning to voice Spyro like he did in Spyro 2, Spyro 3, and Spyro Into the Dragonfly, although let's, let's not think about the latter. And yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So if you don't know who Tom Kenny is, then where the hell have you been for all these years? Like, he's done anything you've watched, like anything animated you've watched, you will probably recognize his voice popping up every so often. I mean, famously, he's known for being the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants, but he's also done voices in stuff like 
Rocco's Modern Life, Dexter's Laboratory, Cat Dog, uh, The Powerpuff Girls, The Cramp Twins, Codename Kids Next Door, Adventure Time. The list just goes on. Like he's done so many cool things, and it's just it's hearing that he's going to be returning to voice Spyro is going to be so cool. And like I just cannot wait to just you know go back in there and just play everything like like from scratch essentially like. Um, I think one of my, I think my favorite out of the trio was Spyro 3 like and just Yeah, like I mean obviously you got to play as like multiple characters in that game and It's just I think that's definitely my favorite So I think going back into play Spyro 3 will probably be a joy as well as the other two Spyro games, but Yeah, I'm just I'm so buzzing. I'm actually I'm buzzing my tits off, as my friend Coral would say. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just, I'm really excited. Like, I don't know how much I can express that in this video, but just as a, you know, as someone who grew up in what was quite an amazing era in the late '90s and early 2000s for the PS1, it's just going to be so cool. Like, you know, just going back. It's basically just going on a little trip down memory lane and just, you know, just going back and playing everything about Spyro and like I did last year with Crash Bandicoot, it's just going to be so cool. And also, I should, have, I should just also mention, so the release date is the 21st of September 2018, which is 11 days shy off the original release of Spyro the Dragon, so... Yeah, it's nice to tie in to the 20th anniversary of Spyro with this remaster and I just, I cannot wait to play, like, I genuinely cannot wait to play because Spyro, it's, it, the boy is just my childhood and I just can't wait to go back and relive, oh, I can't. I'm just, I'm just so happy. Like, we all thought, yeah, this is, this might just happen. And then there was the speculation that, yeah, oh, it might not happen just so yet. But it is happening, and we're all going to be very excited come September when the game does launch. And yeah, Spyro, yes, boys. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now, and you know, just, you know just get more excited for Spyro, I guess. Like, you just think to yourself, like, growing up, like, in, like, you know, different eras of video games, and you think to yourself, oh, I wonder how companies can, you know, go back and, you know, remaster it all. Like, I think, obviously, with the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy that came out last year, I think that's where it all kind of started for me. And obviously, there have been games before, like, on the PS1 that have been remastered before Crash Bandicoot, but it's just... It's amazing, and I just can't wait to play. So yeah, so I'm ready for the 21st of September to play the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, and it should be a good one. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you around maybe with some more Spyro stuff, you never know. And like, comment, subscribe, and share the love. See ya.